in the vast expanse of the ocean. Aboard the USS Abraham Lincoln, a Navy F-35C Lightning shines unusually under the sun. Its chrome or mirror-like coating catches the eye, sparking a whirl of questions. What is the purpose of this striking finish? No, it's not extraterrestrial technology, but something equally intriguing. We've seen similar coatings on the F-35s belonging to the VX-9 Vampires, a squadron that's known for testing. But this Lightning belongs to VFA-125, the Rough Raiders, a fleet replenishment squadron, renowned for their relentless operational pace on carriers. This suggests a new phase, transitioning these experimental coatings from test beds to durable operational realities. Could this be the dawn of a new era for the Lightning Fleet and Stealth, where sleek aesthetics meet rugged carrier demands? Engage that like and subscribe button, and let's take a look at the Lightning's counterintuitive mirror skin that could be the latest in stealth technology. PilotPhotog.com Stealth is all about being unseen and staying hidden. Like an ambush predator, you won't know it's there until it's too late. The F-22 Raptor, F-35 Lightning, and even the fabled F-117 Nighthawk all make use of low, observable technology to do this. In the case of the Nighthawk, Saddam Hussein's armed forces found out firsthand what it was like to be taken by surprise during the first Gulf War. The Nighthawk is covered in radar-absorbing materials or RAM coatings and has a shape that does not allow radar waves to return to the radar. These coatings were also essentially a black color and since the F-117 flew its missions primarily at night, it was termed the Nighthawk. The next breakthrough came with the F-22 Raptor, which is a day or night stealth aircraft. The next step in that evolution was of course the F-35 Lightning, which had improved methods for applying and keeping precious RAM coatings on its skin. These stealth aircraft have all been configured to be low observable by radar and low visibility. But now it appears things have changed. Recently, all three aircraft have been spotted with chrome or mirror-like coatings, seeming to go against everything we've learned about stealth technology. The reason for this could be in the advancements made by passive systems known as Infrared Search and Track or IRST. These systems, such as those found on the Russian Su-27 Flanker, do not rely on radar waves to detect and track an aircraft, but rather small telescopes and infrared cameras that visually can see a target. With IRST, if you can see them, you can engage it. Warfare is an eternal chess game, a game of cat and mouse, of move and counter move. And while stealth is still highly effective, these advancements in IRST systems are presenting more of a threat to fifth generation aircraft. What we are seeing in these new mirror-like coatings could very well be a counter to IRST, a way for them to visually blend into their surroundings, making them virtually invisible. Getting back to sci-fi alien technology for a second, this is somewhat similar to how a fictional alien predator hunted in plain sight in a movie made famous by the line, get to the chopper. The fact that we are seeing these mirror coatings on an F-35, which is performing takeoffs and landings on a carrier, tells us that we've entered the next stage in testing this new technology. Carrier operations at sea expose aircraft to some of the most unforgiving environments, especially corrosive salt water. While a fleet replenishment squadron like VFA-125 is not a frontline squadron, it is used extensively aboard carriers and is the next best thing to a forward deployed squadron. Basically, we can think of this as an in-between step to getting those chrome or mirror-like coatings onto operational squadrons. Then there's the NGAD testing. The Navy is working on their own version of the next generation air dominance or NGAD fighter, which they have termed FAXX. These F-35s that are being tested with newer coatings are most certainly testing technologies for the FAXX. Overall, these highly reflective skins are part of a way to counter those IRST systems, 
and fall under the umbrella of what we now call spectral warfare. Remember that since IRST systems are passive, they are basically immune to traditional radar jamming methods used in electronic warfare. Also, an IRST system that detects an aircraft will not alert the target aircraft. You can now see why in the modern battle space that is full of stealthy fighters and bombers, spectral warfare becomes such a big deal. When you think about it, it's actually a fascinating twist of aviation history. We find ourselves revisiting an old practice with a new perspective. These super advanced 5th and 6th generation fighter jets, adorned with chrome-like surfaces, are in a way a nod to an era long past. During World War II, many Allied aircraft were left in their raw metallic finishes, not just for practicality, but also as a bold statement of presence in the skies. This concept traces even further back to World War I, where the famous Flying Circus Squadron, led by the legendary Red Baron, famously painted their aircraft in vivid, eye-catching colors to taunt and challenge their adversaries to aerial duels. This historical concept adds depth to our understanding of modern warfare strategies. We've transitioned from the deliberate visibility of bright colors and reflective surfaces once used to provoke and engage in direct combat to employing mirror-like coatings for exactly the opposite reason, to remain unseen for as long as possible. This evolution in military aircraft aesthetics reflects really a broader shift in aerial combat philosophy where once the goal was to be seen and to confront the enemy head-on, today's approach prioritizes stealth and surprise, just like an ambush predator. These mirror-like coatings on contemporary jets are not just about aesthetics, they are a strategic choice. Enhancing an aircraft's ability to blend into its environment, reducing detection by enemy radar and IRST systems, which gives them a critical advantage in modern warfare. So at the end of the day, what might seem like a simple design choice is in fact, a sophisticated blend of history, technology, and strategy, encapsulating the ever-evolving nature of military aviation. Getting back to the Navy's FAXX program, I recently made a video using this concept model which features canards. Many of you commented that the use of canards was not a good design choice and would not be featured in the final design. Maybe so. You can check out the video here, and there will also be a link in the description below. Let me know what you think. Regarding the Air Force's NGAD, I just finished a video with a model based on Lockheed's design. You can also check out that video as well. The chrome coatings that are being tested on the F-35 Lightning, the F-22 Raptor, and the F-117 Nighthawk are an indication that we will see these on 6th generation aircraft even the B-21 Raider. And yes, I've got a video on that one as well. All these animations are produced by myself and are made possible by my amazing patrons and channel members. If you'd like to directly help me keep creating content like this, then kindly consider joining. I'll leave links in the description below. What do you think? How soon will we see these chrome or mirror-like coatings on F-35s? Will they be applied to F-22s? And could we see them on older generation aircraft like F-16s or even F-15s? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and now you know. PilotPhotog.com